The target is an IS truck, seen here in between the two buildings. It's destroyed, quickly and accurately, by a brimstone missile fired from an RAF tornado. These days they're fired from typhoons. Brimstone and its highly sophisticated guidance system has proved itself time and again in Iraq and Syria. But now the target could be Russian landing craft, and the brimstone is set to be fired from land. But will it work? It will work. Uh, integration onto a truck isn't going to be that difficult. Uh, the engineers at NBDA um, will have already thought of this um, and probably are working on it as, uh, as we speak. Um, the maritime uh, adaption, putting it on helicopters, uh, relatively straightforward integration, but I don't think we're talking of anything um, really sophisticated. This is about getting it to work but more importantly, at the moment, it's the deterrence value of it to stop any Russian maritime aggression. I think Brimstone could be very effective, but it's not a long range missile. So it's not over the horizon. This is, this is about, um, for example, um, deterring in the first place and then destroying um, Russian landing craft should they um, be foolish enough to uh, attack, say, Odessa on the south coast. Brimstone was developed in the UK especially for the RAF and is a fire and forget missile with an extremely advanced guidance system. It can even destroy itself if it can't find the target, minimising collateral damage. But its state-of-the-art nature could be a problem in itself. The only issue with supplying it to somebody like Ukraine, much as we want to support Ukraine um, in its self-defence against uh, everything that the Russians are doing is, of course, this is a secret weapon. The millimetric wave um, radar seeker head um, is highly classified and um, the frequencies it operates on and those sort of things. The last thing the British government would like, I think, is uh, much as it wants to help Ukraine is to have this fall into the hands of the Russians if it didn't uh, detonate. Operation of Brimstone is said to be simple for trained troops. Clearly, Ukrainian personnel would need that training. Air launched, the second generation variant can travel 37 miles, although there's no data on land launching. It could be a useful deterrent against a Russian sea invasion and ultimately has the capability to cause significant damage if such an invasion takes place. Tim Cooper, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.